Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose, and this here is Douglas Maiden Ford, our resident Pennsylvania Dutchman. How are you, Douglas? I, I am one up or, as we say in Pennsylvania or, Dutch. as they say. Yep. Well, do you have anything you want to say or you want to jump right no, in? No, let's it? go. Head first. Head first. All right. Well, our first question comes in today from Beth Stauffer of Northern Virginia. We have another transplant. Well, we got them all over the place. All right. So Beth says to us, Looking back at all your videos, I only see a few topics about what the PA Dutch do for fun. It can't all be Elbedrinch hunting, or hunting, posy, mud sales, right? Yeah. So uh, what is it that the PA Dutch do for fun? Well, we like to work. Yeah. We like to clean. And organize. And organize. Sharpen an axe. Sharpen an axe. Dig a hole. My mom really liked to sweep. Sweep and swim. My grandma did that all the time. Complaining. Yeah. That's fun. Compl yeah, we like to complain. Yeah. We like to hold grudges. Mm -hmm. Is that fun? Oh, yeah. We, we got tight grips on them grudges there. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, all kidding aside, you know. We barn raising. We, barn raising, sure. Barn dancing. Barn dancing. Yeah, we've done videos on Elbridge hunting. That's that's something we do for fun. What was the other thing she said? Oh, uh, go, go, yeah, playing cards. We like to do that. Mud sales. Well, I don't know if that's fun, but yeah, mm -hmm. some people think it's fun. You know, it's just, I don't know. I mean, we like one thing that my family always liked to do: going to picnics in the summertime, and then at the picnics, then we usually played quates. We've done a video oh, on quates, I love quates throwing yeah. quates, where we could take out our aggression. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I think that's it. Huh? I like to work, drink beer. Well, I, I can't say that for all Pennsylvania Dutch people, but you know, we like to we like to let our hair down every once in a while. But not too far down, because that means you need a haircut. Yeah, games. I mean, you know, there's certain kinds of games the Pennsylvania Dutch like to play. Well, music, like. music, dancing. I mean, hoedowning. When I was a kid growing up, a lot of places had hoedowns or barn dances, essentially what most people today would call square dancing. That's a lot of fun. You know, those old music, that old style music playing, and everybody be in the square, swinging their partner, and all that kind of stuff. That was a lot of fun. Um, I wish we'd bring that back. It hasn't gone away, but I wish more people would get into it. They're hard to find now. They're there, though. You just gotta look. You just gotta look. A lot of times, just like sitting around and, and talking to people. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah, I know. 2018, sitting no, 2019. Around, sitting talking around, to people. talking to people. I know, people might think I'm crazy. Well, Who you wants know, to do that? You know what? This is kind of interesting. It leads me into a story. So about a month ago, yeah. I had a good buddy of mine and his lady friend over. And we had dinner, and we talked, and just listened to records, vinyls, the old-fashioned kind, and we played Blitz. Dutch Blitz. Dutch Blitz. That card game. Yeah. yeah. And so we just sat around in the kitchen talking, playing cards, listening to records. No for... screens. No screens. Ah, you couldn't have had fun. It was screenless, Doug. You, you couldn't have had fun. No, mm -hmm. your cell phones were not the whole mm -hmm. time? No, yeah. they weren't. I mean, how do you fact check anything anybody's saying? You just gotta just. Assume. Did you start shaking? I, no. No, because guess what? It is fun to just sit and talk oh, to yeah. people, have a nice meal with somebody. And you know what they said? They said it was so nice to be able to do that, and they hadn't done it since they were kids. Get on! They hadn't done it since they were kids. That's disgusting. Yeah. That's where we're at. That is where mm -hmm. we're at. You know why this country's the way that it is? Because people don't sit down and have a meal together with each other anymore. It's true. Oh, yeah. Nobody knows how to listen to each other. I'm not saying you got to agree with everything I say, but let's sit down and at least talk to each other and listen. And you know what? This is another yeah? strange thing. Is uh, A lot of people I talk to nowadays, they're talking about things like anxiety. And oh, yeah. Things that keep them from doing stuff. Oh, yeah. And I talk to a bunch of people because I play music for a living and I go all over the place and I talk about pretty much any kind of person you can imagine. And the two number, or the, I guess it can't be two number ones. But, yeah, what the heck. But the two the, top two things. The top two things that people have anxiety about are medical conditions and society, or social anxiety. And I mm -hmm. keep thinking people are afraid to go talk to each other oh, yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I think the only reason they're afraid to do it is because they don't have dinner with their friends. Yeah, listen to this. Here's another story. I can't name the names, but I have a, you know, I teach. I have a student who was, uh, was supposed to work on a project, a big project. And I was asking him, you know, how's the project coming along? He goes, oh, I haven't started yet. I said, well, why not? He goes, well, I got to call. I have to get more information. I need to call somebody. 
I said, well, you have a cell phone. Why don't you call? He goes, I, I don't like to, t I get nervous talking on the phone. Why? They're Dude, on their no, phone all the time. But, yeah, they ain't talking though. And that's the thing. We don't know how to talk to each other anymore. Oh. What does the future hold? Well, there's one now, of the listen, best ways to have fun. And you talk about Pennsylvania Dutch people, you know, on a Saturday night or a Friday night, people get together and do exactly what you said. They might have, they'd have a meal, maybe play some cards, or sit and listen to music, or just sit and talk. Oh my god, who can do that anymore? You know, it's fun. Mm -hmm. That you can derive, you know, everybody wants to think, they think definition. For something to be fun, it's got to be like, you got to get your... Excited. Your, yeah, and all this stuff. The that, fear of death put in you. There are other definitions to fun. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what we've lost. Oh, yeah. I think the difference is a lot of people get excitement and fun confused. Because sure. they think about excitement, it's like really revved up, high energy thing. And fun is that nourishing, heartwarming, soul-fulfilling kind of... Bonding with people, what, get, yeah, what humans need, and so that's why when we say we have fun working, doing hard work, we're not we're not really kidding because you we're can usually have fun. working with somebody, yeah, and we're talking and we're BSing about stuff, we're making up jokes, telling half lies, singing a song and, now and then, yeah. yeah, it's true, it's absolutely true. There's nothing more fun than problem solving with other people. And then complaining about the problem that might with other people for the next 15 years. Yeah. I really think that... I, I worry. I really... You know, you can say all you want about technology, but I really worry the fact that we can't. I see it with my high school students all the time. They can't look me in the eye. They can't talk to me. They can't hold a conversation. What does that mean 10 years from now? Mm -hmm. Seriously. How do they have But fun? there's adults that are like this too now. People look at the Dutchman like, how could they possibly have fun? And we look at All everybody doing, else, how, how can they have fun? Yeah, exactly right. Hey, I don't know. I thoroughly love to have people over for a meal. That's so, That's one of my mm -hmm. top joys in life. A, I get to do something for somebody. I'm cooking a meal. And this, I could do a whole video on why that is important. But I won't go into that now. Nah. But the fact that I make something for somebody. And they sit down and I've invited them to my house. And we sit down and we share a meal together. And we talk to each other. About who knows what. There's never any planned conversation. It naturally produces mm -hmm. itself. And you connect with other people. You learn how to and flow with it. At the end of the night, you're sad to see them leave. Because you've had a fulfilling experience. Yeah, and then you sit there in your house and you think, oh, it's... Still, and it is fun. There is... No it's it's right. You, at, you're exactly right. I, I'm i agreeing with Mr. LaRose. First time ever. There is... We have, so right we have lost the definition of what fun... You know, that everything that we equate with fun, we meaning society, has to be amped up, exciting, you know, thrilling... Uh, that's that, that's only one small aspect of the definition of fun. And it's I, the me, loudest, but to not me, the yeah, best. But we only hear the loud things mm -hmm. nowadays. I'm telling you, I <laughs> this is supposed to be funny, but I think this I I oh he's all this is up, I'm right? serious about this. His face is turning red. I mean, it gets me. It it, it bothers me when you go someplace and a person can't look you in the eye and talk to you. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing? Seriously. Oh, yeah. You know what? Whenever I go shopping, I will see a line of, you know, 50 people for the person with the real cashier. And all the, you know, 100 of these these electronic cashier things, you can breeze right through it. I will wait in that line behind 50 other people just so I can talk to that poor person that's there and say, Hey, how are you doing? How's your day? Any fun plans? Yeah, I think society's making it harder for us to even talk to people. Oh, yeah. Technology's they're... taking out the face-to-face, -face, and then you go to a store, and you're seeing, you know, self-checkouts, or you go to a, some restaurants now, you order at a machine instead of talking to some... I, we're doing it to ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're engineering our own We're engineering our own... Uh, look at... That's a oh, big word. Holy. Engineering our and own obsolescence. I don't know if that's the right word. Is it? Obsolescence? Obsolete. Obsoleteness? See this? You, you got to stick to the smaller words, and we, we know we, we know those Well, words. how am I ever going to get to use one unless I stretch myself? you got to come over for dinner and talk to me. Well, heck, I might. <laughs> we'll leave the phones outside, and I'll have to flip through a dictionary for an hour and a half, find an obsolescence to find there out are, if it's a real yeah, word or I not. I think it's after the N N O. It would be in the O section. Yeah. Like dictionary. That we'll use the actual book kind. Oh, my gosh. They're out of print. Line. 
You get those at no, antique shops. No, I have. I have one right over there. Oh man, Webster's was nine it chiseled new in stone. Com- no, I got it a long time ago though. Yeah, it was a gift from but who? My grandmother. Oh, okay. Anyway, this all choking aside, I hope that if you're watching this video, you are the kind of person that can and enjoys having a conversation with. And somebody. if you're not, stretch yourself and try to. Yeah. Start S- small. Skip the self Start. checkout and go talk to the Start person. Small. Yeah. Yeah. Start small. Start small. Start small. I'm not expecting everybody to invite people to their place for dinner right away, especially if they have anxiety. But I think that we can we can overcome We can turn the tides. We can overcome those with pot pie. You can overcome yeah, make a big pot of pot pie and invite some people over. Mm-hmm. And don't worry about how the night's gonna go. Sit and enjoy it. Roll with it. Yeah. Aye 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 aye. So, I really I, I Oh, he's riled. All right, well, I think you heard it from the Dutchman. I'm sorry that this wasn't as funny as they usually are. Oh, but I think this was a teachable moment. I think it was, yeah. <laughs> or at least the opportunity for me to get on my soapbox. On your soapbox and talk. I was, yeah. yeah. Well, you heard it from the Dutchman. Get out there and talk to people. Schwetzklebizzle. Schwetzklebizzle. Yeah. All yeah, right. If you're learning Pennsylvania Dutch, there's your opportunity. Yeah. You can practice with somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, well, until next time. Keep the questions coming. Keep them coming. Yeah. And mock good. If you have a question, why you have to email us at bustapa at yahoo.com.